It's not often that you see a sharp sand hawk sitting out in the open. This bird is a bandit. It normally lurks only in deep shadows. It eats almost exclusively other birds, no small feat considering potential victims, keen eyes, constant vigilance, and fast getaways. But when a sharpie streaks out of cover, it often means sudden death for small birds. Sharp shins are found in both forest and prairie situations, but trees are always nearby. Their captures are always a blur, seldom seen, and nearly impossible to film. Using sharp talons and powerful feet, they squeeze their prey to death. Then they carry it to a secluded limb, where they spend an hour or more plucking and eating it. These bird hawks are notoriously difficult to tell from their larger cousins, the Cooper's hawk. Coloration is basically identical, both for juveniles and adults. Size is the main difference, even though this is complicated. This bird, just larger than the shrike it holds, is a sharp shinned hawk. It plucks the prey, removing feathers before tearing into the meat. Then it consumes the entire bird minus bones, an enormous meal considering its own size. Sharpies and coopers, when hungry and preoccupied on a feeding post, sometimes lose their normal wariness to allow slow and careful approaches for observation. Even so, this close-up look at a wild feeding sharpie in open country is unexpected and remarkable. Its feeding doesn't stop until all the meat is consumed. And this will hold the small hawk for several days. Then again, it will become a feared hunter in the world of small birds. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.